Uh, Dr. Thornton, you want to talk a little bit about um, skin cancer, how you prevent it? And My myth is that uh, suntan beds and uh, sun tanning with a bed that will protect you from sun exposure, and uh, it's just simply not true. I mean, we're all victims of sins of our youth, and, um, you know, when we grew up, sunscreen wasn't invented, and you knew it was summer when you got that first blistering sunburn, and um, what that means is that our skin has lost the ability to repair itself like it could when we were, you know, in our 20s. And we have to treat it much more delicately, and we have to make some attempts to reverse some of the earlier signs or some of the earlier damage. And, and the things that you can do now are, is just be a, 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 a daily user of a moisturizer with a 15 or above sunscreen, prevent further sun exposure, particularly, uh, uh, you know, essentially a useless exposure through sun tanning beds, as well as be a daily user of Retin-A. And, and I'll talk uh, more about that, you know, individually. If it comes down to it, and we're all at risk, I mean, suntan beds uh, put us at a five-time increased lifetime risk for basal cell or squamous cell and a seven-times increased risk for melanoma. And so all of us are, you know, at some risk in our lifetime developing some degree of, of, sun, of skin cancer from sun exposure. And if it gets down to it where you have developed a biopsy-proven basal cell or squamous cell, there are... a um, really state-of-the-art ways to manage it, and that's what we do at the medical school. Um, for skin cancers above the, above the shoulders, um, the, the way to do it is to have a dermatologist, a Mohs um, surgeon, surgically excise the skin, uh, cancer, and you're left with the smallest possible defect with a, ni a greater than 99% guarantee that all the cancer is removed and it won't come back. And then the same day, you'll come see one of us in plastic surgery, and we'll do our plastic surgery best to repair the defect. My only job that I do is fix uh, these facial defects from skin cancer, and that's one of the huge advantages of a university-based plastic surgery with, where we have 12 partners. We all tend to become experts in one area, and that's my area. So you'll get the Mohs surgery, uh, the Mohs removal by the Mohs surgeon, come over and see me the same day, and we'll be able to fit in and provide you really state-of-the-art care for restoring your face to normalcy. And that's a huge advantage of what we do.